Hey there, my name is Forrest Gibson, and I'm going to be telling you how to make your video go viral with a thinly veiled comparison into baking a pie and making that pie go viral. <clears throat> so why a pie? Well, a pie and a video have a lot of things in common. They both have a lot of ingredients. They have recipes. They have ways you prepare them. They have ways you serve them. They have times when you serve them. And these things are all important. So I'm going to break this down into a few easy to digest um, points. The first one is understanding who you're targeting. So who are the people you're trying to reach? What video are you going to be making? When are you going to be releasing this video? And how are you going to get it out there? How are you going to get people to share this video? So let's start off with who you're targeting. You know, when you get a viral video and those hits are going and those numbers are going up, those, those aren't just nebulous numbers floating out you know, in the ether. Those are people. Those are people who are watching your video and who are sharing it because they love it. Why are they going to love it? Because you should figure out what they like. Are these the people you're trying to reach? Are they into science fiction? Are they into reality? Do they like funny things? Do they like cute things? You need to determine this thing before you even start shooting anything. The next thing is to figure out what they don't like. Because this is really important. This is even more important. Not only for things you should avoid, but for things you should potentially harp on. Because controversy gets you attention, online especially. People can be raging about how much they hate your video, but be sharing it at the same time. <laughs> so what kind of pie? You know, there's so many pies out there, um, much like there's so many videos and so many concepts. Where to start? Well, start with what you know, just like baking. Start with something you've done before. Do you know how to shoot video? Do you know how to edit? If you don't, don't do a highly produced video because you're going to suck at it. Look around you and figure out what talents you have for your, from yourself and the people around you. Can you make a funny face? Can you sing? Can you dance? These are all important. Next, figure out the ingredients you have on hand. Do you happen to own a grumpy looking cat? <laughs> that could be viral material. Do you own a dryer that you have no problem trashing with a brick? Also viral material. And next, experiment. I've been making videos a long time before any of them went viral. So experiment, try new things, because you never know what's going to happen. So the next piece of this pie is uh, to look at when you're going to serve, because the timing for your release of a video, as well as the time in which you take your pie out, is very important. There's a couple things to pay attention to. One are events and holidays. So if you're, gonna make, if you're looking to make a parody video, make sure you do it right at the time when the event or thing is happening. Don't wait too long because your, your window of opportunity is going to be missed. You don't want to make a pie for Thanksgiving and then give it to people after Thanksgiving. <clears throat> the next thing is to pay attention and keep your ear to the ground on the internet because there are dull days. There are days when there's not a lot of material going on, on online and you can take advantage of that by releasing your video then, you know, Wednesdays are actually duller days than a lot of other days. And you have to remember that there's no easy answer to all of this. There can be too many other pies at the potluck. And sometimes your video won't get the views and shares you want because too many other people are releasing things at the same time and you have no control over this. Now finally, how to share this. A lot of people think they can just bake a pie, take it out of the oven, set it in their kitchen, and people will come. They will come and eat this pie. But no, you need to take that pie out there. You need to take this pie and share it with people. Well, the best way to do that is to describe it. What did you make? If I say I'm going to give you an apple pie, you understand what I'm saying. If I say I'm sharing this video with you about a kid that laughs until he farts, you understand <laughs> what I'm saying. So make sure to describe it well. The next thing is to share it around beyond your friends. Share it to people who matter. Not that your friends don't matter. Share it to influencers. Find blogs, find media outlets who might like what you do and send personalized emails to them saying why this video is relevant to them based on things they've already written about. And finally, have a story. Have a reason why you did this. It can be a stupid reason. It can be, I heard making viral videos was easy from a guy to ignite. But have a story because if you get picked up on media outlets, they're going to they're gonna want to know why you did it. Well, that about wraps it up. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of different variables that go into it. And you never know if the video you make is going to go viral. But that doesn't mean you shouldn't try. Because in the end, what's the worst thing that happens? You make a video that doesn't go anywhere. And who knows? You could be the person that makes the next Harlem Shake, whether that's a good or bad thing. <laughs> I'm Forrest Gibson. You can follow me on Twitter.